Starting in the mid 20th century, Miss Major Griffin Gracie fought for visibility and respect for transgender Americans in the face of extreme adversity and discrimination. Born in Chicago in the 1940s, Miss Major Griffin Gracie was assigned male at birth. But growing up, Miss Major felt like a girl. As a teen, she met a drag queen who helped her dress in women's clothes and wear makeup. Because being transgender wasn't socially accepted, Miss Major presented male in public. And when a roommate discovered one of her dresses, she was expelled from college. She moved to New York in 1962, became a sex worker to support herself, and also started performing in drag shows. In 1969, Miss Major was at the Stonewall Inn, a safe haven for the LGBTQ plus community, when the police raided the bar. Its patrons fought back. This event, known as the Stonewall Uprising, is credited as the start of the LGBTQ plus rights movement in the United States. The following year, Miss Major went to prison for robbery. When released, she wore makeup to meet her parole officer, and he sent her back to prison. Back in prison, she was confined to a mental hospital, and her eyebrows and head were shaved to humiliate her. Some time after her release, Miss Major moved to California and helped aspiring drag performers. She became known as Mama Major. In the 1980s, the LGBTQ plus community was devastated by the HIV AIDS epidemic. Miss Major's partner, Joe Bob Michael, was one of many who lost his life. But Miss Major didn't let her grief put a stop to her activism. Instead, she managed a transgender drop-in center as a health educator and started street clinics for HIV prevention. And in 2004, she joined the TGI Justice Project, assisting transgender people who are at higher risk of physical and sexual violence in prisons. Facing many struggles as a transgender woman of color, Miss Major Griffin Gracie remains an unwavering champion for transgender rights and the LGBTQ plus community. How do transgender activists continue to fight for visibility and equality today?